see. Lush rainforest. Mm -hmm. A lush rainforest. Tell mountains me. that overlook a, the ocean. Mm -hmm. Mountains that overlook an ocean. Mm -hmm. Describe this place for me in detail. What does it look like? The mountains are really, really steep and high pitched. Mm -hmm. And they slope the town seamlessly into the beach. Mm -hmm. And there's a path going from the forest down to the beach to the water. And where are you as you are observing this? I'm on the path. Mm -hmm. Walking towards the water. Beautiful. So take a look at your feet as you're walking on the path. What do your feet look like? Brown. Mm-hmm. Brown feet? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are they big or are they small? They're wide. They're wide. Mm-hmm. Are they male or female feet? Um, I can't tell. Mm -hmm. So let's observe the rest of your body. What do your legs look like? They're thick. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Focus on your torso. What does your torso look like? I have a big belly. A big belly. Mm -hmm. Very round. Very round. A mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. And I have long black hair. Long black hair. Are you wearing anything? braided. Any braided. Are you wearing anything? I'm wearing a... Wearing a yellow, like skirt. Mm -hmm. Anything on the top? Just like a bra. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Fifties. Mm -hmm. Very good. Are you carrying anything? Look down at your hands. Mm. I don't know. It's okay. So let's continue down that path and tell me where you go. Describe everything as you see, as you're walking. I see. What do you see? I see a lot of flowers and wildlife. Mm -hmm. What kind of wildlife do you see? Birds. Mm -hmm. Monkeys, lizards. How do they make you feel when you see them? 
kid. Mm-hmm. Like it's just part of how Go on. Be as descriptive as possible. What else is happening? Where are you now? Kid, I think my kids are coming up to me. Mm-hmm. Your kid. Uh, I don't know. Some kids. Mm-hmm. How many are there? <sighs> Just a few. Mm-hmm. They're excited about something. They want to show me. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what they show you. What happens next? The more you talk, the more you'll see. Some type of animal. Mm -hmm. Or something I think something might be dead mm-hmm. But Where is it dead? On the beach mm-hmm. So tell me what happens next I'm walking with them, sort of like, okay, what is this? Um, gosh, I want to say it's like a weird creature, mm-hmm. good dragon, like with wings. Mm-hmm, it's a dragon. Something that looks smaller, like like a baby. Mm-hmm. Like a baby dragon. Mm-hmm. What color is it? Blue. Mm-hmm. And green. The wings are like transparent, like iridescent. Mm-hmm. Kind of like whitish iridescent and. Thin, like papery thin, and Dragon's not dead. It's not dead. I can't tell. Mm-hmm. Let's see what happens. I feel like it's a big deal. Mm-hmm. I have to go find somebody. Let them know. Mm-hmm. So you can go ahead and fast forward that scene and let's see what happens. Who do you find? Council member. Mm-hmm. This is someone from your village? Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. He's important. What's happening now? I'm telling him what I saw. What the kids found. And... doesn't seem 
can't tell what he's his reaction. Mm-hmm. Connect with him mind to mind. Mm-hmm. His thoughts will be yours. Have to get rid of it. Mm-hmm. He's get out, gathering like a group of like younger men, like warriors, like they have (sighs) spears and like body paint and like the the clothing is very much like rags, like Mm -hmm. sort of just draped. Mm -hmm. And they're all going out to the beach now to do something with the dragon. How do you feel about this? I'm a little worried, like, anxious, like, okay, what's gonna happen? Um, I don't know if we're in danger, what this means, if there's more coming. Mm -hmm. But... No, I'm having a hard time connecting to the the chief, I guess it's the chief. Mm -hmm. Connect with your feelings. What feelings are coming up? How is this making you feel? Sad. Mm -hmm. Tell me why it's making you feel sad. Sad, but like resolved, like we just have to do it, like Mm -hmm. almost like this was like important creature so let's see what happens after this what happens to this creature let's burn it Describe this for me. What happens? They're tying ropes to it. Mm -hmm. How big is this creature? Very big. Um... I mean, it's a baby, but it's... Is it bigger than a person? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They are too big to move. Too big for just a few people to move. They have to get leverage or use something else. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they're going to do with it. Maybe return it to the sea. Or... Did this creature come from the sea? You mentioned it had wings. Mm -hmm. I don't think it did. So I'd like for you to close that scene and let's find out the resolution of what happened to it. Be there now. Where are you now? At like a ceremony, like a campfire. Mm Mm-hmm. Is it daytime or nighttime? Nighttime. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of people, like, from the village and other, like, the chief is there, he's speaking. Um, basically, 
It must be like commemorating this creature mm-hmm. and its death. Everyone's just sort of like sad and fearful. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Sad. Mm-hmm. Tell me why. <sighs> I shouldn't have to die. Do you have any connection with this creature? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I'm more worried about what the chief thinks of it. Mm-hmm. And what does the chief think? Not sure. Okay. Is there anything else important in this scene? Anything else there? Something with the blood. Mm hmm. Tell me about the blood. Like they're slicing, like emptying the blood in mm-hmm. the fire. Mm hmm. But I don't know what that's for. Mm hmm. Very good. People are like singing, like chanting. Do they seem happy? Oh no, it's like... Like mourning a loss. Okay. Do you feel that your village honors these creatures? Mm Mm-hmm. Very good. So now let's find out what happens in your life that's important. Close that scene and we're going to move now to another important scene in your lifetime. Something that has impacted your life. Be there now. Where are you? In the hut. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. What's there? It's very empty. Mm hmm. Is this your hut? I think so. Mm hmm. What's happening right now? I'm just sitting in it. Mm hmm. Everyone's, it's like relieving or something. Like it's like empty and I'm just sitting there like, like, I'm not wanting to leave it. Mm-hmm. Let's find out why is it that you're leaving this place. What's happened to your village? You can go backwards in time and find out. Tell me where you are, what's happening. Did 
describe this place? I want to say there's other, another tribe or some other people that are forcing us to leave. Mm-hmm. Why is that? You'll just know the answers. It's our time to leave. Mm -hmm. So where are you going to now? (sighs) Further up the mountain. Mm -hmm. Very good. So tell me if there's anything important in this scene as you leave for this new place. Is there anything important that happens along the way? I want to say we're leaving for some, like, weather. Mm-hmm. It's not like a, it's, it's not like a day, like, some, it's not like we're being attacked. It's like. <sighs> Is it a change of season? Yeah, something with weather, mm-hmm. um, some type of natural event that we can't be so close to, so low. Mm-hmm. Do you go higher in the mountain? We go higher, um. What happens each year that you need to go higher? Storms. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't be protected enough. We're too open to the rain and the wind Mm -hmm. down there. Mm -hmm. So in the forest, you're more protected? The mountains, yeah. Okay. Very good. People have already, there's already people up there. Mm -hmm. They're ready to start fresh. How does that make you feel when you start fresh? Excited, hopeful. There's going to be new people. New things to do, but I'm gonna miss the beach. Do you live by Almost. yourself? <sighs> no. You were saying something before. Almost what? Hmm. I don't know, like we're preparing for something. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's seasonal. Okay, very good. Is there anything else in that scene that's important? I'm a grandma. Mm-hmm. 
I don't feel like there's a lot of people that live with me, mm-hmm. but maybe that I have grandchildren. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene now. And let's go to another day in that same lifetime when something important is happening. Be there now. <coughs> My daughter's having a baby. Mm-hmm. Where are you? In a hut. Mm-hmm. And I'm with her. Just coaxing her through it. Mm-hmm. She's doing a great job. Can you see your daughter's eyes? Mm. Yes. The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes in the lifetime of Megan? No. Okay, that's fine. So what happens? What's happening now? She's giving birth. They have to take the baby um, to do something to it. Mm-hmm. Who took the baby? Mm, the people, someone that was there, um, like a spiritual person. Mm-hmm. Um, they're doing some type of like anointing or a ceremony. Yeah, like something that they do when babies are born, um, just to bless it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm just with my daughter. I'm telling her she did a great job. She's happy it's over. Mm-hmm. Is there anybody else there with you? Her husband, the person who delivered the baby maybe somebody else Um, we're just sort of happy Mm -hmm. it was a boy it was a boy very good is there anything else in that scene that's important I think that they think the boy's gonna be like a warrior. Mm-hmm. They have big hopes for him or something. Is there anything important about your own family lineage that makes them think that he'll be a warrior? My daughter's husband's lineage. Mm-hmm. Is he a warrior? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. But he comes from them. Very good. Is there anything else important from that scene? Just like a sense that they're, we're getting ready for something, like preparing. Mm-hmm. 
So go ahead and fast forward and let's see what you're preparing for. What's happening? Four. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Mm. We're getting ready to send people, warriors, they're going on a mission. Do you know what this mission is? I think that they're going to the other side of the island to either negotiate, like we need to leave our side. Mm -hmm. And we need to be able to get to the other side of the island. We need to be able to make the journey mm -hmm. and stay there. But we have to, we have to make sure that the people that are living there, the different tribe will let us. What is the reason you need to leave this area? Is dying. Mm -hmm. What do you see is dying around you? Plants. Mm -hmm. Or fire or something. Something has happened to your side of the island? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or it's going to happen. Just death, like... I don't know and why it's just our side. I want you to hone in on your knowing and you will know what that is. You'll just know it. Infestation. Mm -hmm. Bugs. Mm -hmm. Lotus or something. Something eating up the plants? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close this scene now. And now let's move ahead to another important scene in your lifetime. Something very important has happened. Where are you? On the other side. Mm -hmm. Overlooking the ocean again. How do you feel there? Very, like, relieved. Mm -hmm. Like, happy. Like, secure. Very good. Anything else important from that scene? We've made peace. Mm hmm Very good. So now I'd like for you to close that scene and go to the last day of your lifetime. Be there now. It's the last day of your life in that lifetime. And tell me where you are. Side. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Mm 
It's not too old. Mm-hmm. Seven, 70s. Mm-hmm. What are you feeling? I feel happy to go. Mm-hmm. I have my loved ones with me. And I'm in nature. I just feel ready. Mm-hmm. Had a pretty easy life. Mm-hmm. Very good. So go ahead and take the last breath in that lifetime. And as you transition out of your body, I want you to look back at that life. Every lifetime has a purpose and a lesson. What was the purpose of that lifetime? To be part of a family, part of my tribe, mm-hmm. dutiful member. And what lessons did you learn from there? Patience. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I want you to go ahead and continue transitioning away from that body leaving that woman there and I'd like for you to tell me where you go after you leave the body what do you see Where are you? Describe what you're experiencing. feeling or seeing look all around you (sighs) what is this place The more you talk, the more I'll be able to help you. I don't... What do you experience? I don't know. Sometimes when you transition out of your body, you're in a void. Sometimes you see colors. What are you experiencing now? Gray. Mm-hmm. Very good. So even when you're in a gray space, you could perhaps be in a place of rest, a place of transition, and you can go through this gray as if you were in a fast movie. So I'd like for you to just fast forward through this gray and allow yourself to transition through it. And then allow the scene to open to the next place that's important. Allow that scene to open now. And look all around you. Tell me what you experience in this new place. What are you experiencing now? (sighs) 
Let's go drifting and floating through this place. Just feel yourself drifting and floating. And go deeper now. Sleep. Go deeper now. What are you experiencing? Um... Allow me to help you by telling me where you are. What are you feeling? What are you experiencing? I want you to go to a place in your mind where you can meet up with someone that you love very much. I want you to find perhaps a park or a garden where there's a bench there. And I want you to sit at that bench and I want you to imagine coming from somewhere in that park, someone that you love very much, someone who guides you. And tell me, they can come to you in any shape or form or color. Who do you imagine coming to you? What do you see? Who's there with you? What are you experiencing? I'm just sitting mm -hmm. on the bench. Mm -hmm. So let's call your pop up. I'm going to count from one to three. I don't want your pop up to sit next to you. One, two, and three. I want you to look next to you. And tell me who you see. Hello? Mm hmm. Go ahead and talk to him. Ask him how he is. He's good. Mm -hmm. He's happy. Mm -hmm. What would he like to tell you today? Tell me everything he says. He loves me. He's proud of me. He wants me to look after my brother. And my dad. Go easy at my dad. Mm -hmm. 
So ask him a question. What should I ask him? Ask him if he chose to leave when he did. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Tell him. It was his time, though. Mm -hmm. Does he regret what happened? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. How does it feel about the situation before he left? It wasn't good. Mm -hmm. I think he was trying his best to put the pieces together and fix things. Mm -hmm. Has he forgiven him for what he did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has he gone to the light? Mm -hmm. Very good. So ask him if he, if he guides you now. with me. Mm -hmm. I'm my own guides. Mm -hmm. What else does he say? Keep going. You're doing a great job. Wonderful. Is there anything else you want to say to him? I just... I love him and... I'm sorry that we couldn't have been, you know, a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. What does he say about that? He's sorry too. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is that all he has to say today? Joy life. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like to thank Bill for the information he's given Megan today. Thank you very much. And just take a deep breath in now. And let's connect with your higher self, that voice within. Do I have permission to ask questions? Mm -hmm. Very good. I know that you could have shown Megan many different lifetimes today. Why did you choose to show her that life of that village woman? Why that one? It was a simple life? Yes, mm -hmm. so she could see that it, that's okay. That that's okay. And why did you show her the scene of the dragon? Why was that so significant? It wasn't a dragon. Mm, what was that? Centaur? A centaur? I don't know. Hmm. Was it a mythical creature that we think is mythical now? Yes. Mm -hmm. What year was this lifetime in? Thirteen ninety eight. Thirteen ninety eight. So things were quite different then in those days. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Simple. Very simple. Very good. Megan was brought here today for a reason. Why did you bring her here? What did you want to tell her? Keep doing what she's doing. Mm -hmm. She's on the right path. She is. What's her mission in this lifetime? Why did she come here? To bring joy. Mm -hmm. Is she doing that now? Yes. Mm -hmm. But she's very kind of um, concerned about her career. Should she continue waiting tables? Or should she be doing something else? She can continue. Mm -hmm. Does that bring joy in her life? And to other people's lives? Yes. Mm -hmm. So she should just continue doing whatever brings her joy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about where she should live? She's already moved once, and she wants to know if she should stay where she's living now, or should she relocate somewhere else? Paris. To Paris. Mm -hmm. When should she be doing this? When she feels it's time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there something in particular that she needs to do there? She needs to learn the language. Learn the language. Okay. Will she be finding her soulmate there? No. No. Does she have a soulmate? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Has she met the soulmate, or is he coming in the future? She's not met this person. She hasn't. Okay. Well, but what about her relationship now? Is that something that she should enjoy while she can? Yes, he's teaching her a lot. He's teaching her. Very good. Very good. Now, she tells me that she has some blocks. Uh, she's right now not knowing what she should do. Why is she so blocked creatively right now? What's happened to her? She's not trying. She's not trying. What, what are the kinds of things that she should be doing? Exploring, having fun. Not taking things so seriously. Mm hmm So be more joyful? Yes. Mm hmm Very good. Can we get some assistance with that? Perhaps a guide that will remind her to have fun. Yes. Very good. Now she says that she has a lot of anxiety and abundance issues. Why is that? She believes she can't have things. Mm -hmm. Can she? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to tell her about abundance? It's available. What's the secret to being abundant? Love. Mm -hmm. Having love and faith. Love and faith. So as long as you put love and faith in things, you will be abundant? Yes. Mm -hmm. It sounds to me like she just needs to live her purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when she's joyful, 
and she's loving what she's doing and has faith in it, the money comes? Yes. Okay, very good. So she really needs to put it out there before she gets it back. Kind of yes, like, she kind needs of like the to ocean. live. Mm -hmm. And right now she's not. She's just blocking herself. Yes. Okay. So can we begin releasing some of those blocks today? Yes. All right, very good. How does Megan's body look now that she's full of this love and joy? Better. Better. Very good. Do you feel now that Megan can begin doing her creative work again? Yes. Very good. And she has a question. She wants to know who her guides are. Would you tell her who, who's guiding her right now? Angels. Angels. Are there any in particular? Michael. Michael is here. Mm -hmm. Who else? Raphael. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Are those Ariel. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any others? And a charm. Mm -hmm. Is this her team? So how can she connect better with them? What can she do to connect? Be in love. Mm -hmm. Slow down. Mm -hmm. Meditate. Mm -hmm. Is she doing any meditation now? She tries. Mm -hmm. She's not trying enough. Mm -hmm. So what can she do to meditate better? Put more time into it. Okay. So instead of sitting and sulking about how anxious she is, she should meditate and connect? Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, is there anybody in her life right now who's in her soul group or that she's lived with in other lifetimes? Anybody there? I'd like for you to show her a picture of who that would be, if there is anybody, and associate them with that lifetime. Who do you see that she's been with before? No one. No one. Has Megan had many lifetimes before on this planet? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So why did she choose right now to be in a family where she didn't have any connection with from before? She had to feel apart. Mm. And how would how has that allowed her to grow in this lifetime to feel apart? Gather strength from herself. Okay. Is she doing that now? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Would you tell me what birds have to do in her life? She sees a lot of birds. Her guides. Those are her guides? Mm-hmm. 
And what about the repeating numbers? What does that mean? Her manifesting. Her manifesting. So is she getting some sort of confirmation with the numbers that she's yes. manifesting? Yes. Okay, good. So she seems to be seeing a lot of those repeating numbers lately. Does that mean she's been manifesting a lot? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you give her an example of a manifestation that she may have not realized was so important that she did? Her living situation. Mm -hmm. Came pretty easy. Mm. Yes, she mm. manifested. Okay, very good. Is she in the process of manifesting anything right now? She will be. She will be. Very good. What's the fastest way for her to manifest the life that she wants, including abundance? Be in the present. Be in the present. So stay in the moment of now? Yes, this is hard for her. Mm. Does she look back or does she look forward? Forward. She looks forward. And the forward doesn't hasn't happened yet. So if we're mm. always looking forward, we're not in the moment of now. Okay, good. Can you help her with that? Can I ask the angels and the higher self to assist her with remaining in the now as much as possible? Yes. Thank you. What's the best way for her to raise her vibration and go further into her spiritual path? Be free. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Try new things. Meet new people. Create mm -hmm. love. All the things she does already mm -hmm. that bring her happiness. Yes, but not sitting at home sulking. No, she mm -hmm. needs to get out. She needs to get out. Good, good. She asks about the shift. Can you tell her a little bit about this shift? Is this coming? Is it happening now? What's the information about the shift? It will happen. How will that affect her? She's not meant to know. She's not meant to know? Okay. It seems like this shift is a big secret every time we ask about it. Is this something that's that's going to happen to people that is going to be like a surprise? It's better if they don't know. It's better if they don't know. Well, is it possible for you to give her more of a download or more of a connection with you, the higher self? She wants to access Source and access her spiritual gifts a lot faster. Can we do that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Can we begin today? Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. So let me know if I continue talking or you can do that now. I can do it now. Okay. Thank you. Let me know when you're done. Thank you very much. Would you do a scan on her body and let's see what her body looks like and what her chakra system looks like?
something in her back left shoulder blade. Mm-hmm. The back left shoulder blade. What is? What are you showing there? Darkness. Darkness. Okay. Would you allow me to connect with this energy in the back left shoulder blade? Yes. All right. So I'm going to bring my hand and bring that energy up, 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 and you can express yourself today. Good morning. Are you male or female? Male. Male. And what can I call you? Howard. Howard. Howard, how old are you? 45. Mm -hmm. And what year is it for you, Howard? 1955. 1955. Howard, how is it that you found Megan? She was young. Mm -hmm. How old was she? Seven. Seven. What was happening in Megan's life at the time that allowed you to connect with her? She was sad. She was sad. Mm -hmm. And so that's what made her vulnerable for you to attach to her? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Howard, what have you been doing to Megan all this time? How has she been feeling you? I make her confused. Mm -hmm. What else do you do to her? Make her question herself. Mm -hmm. Make her sluggish. Sluggish. Mm -hmm. What else? Howard, how was it that you died the last time that you had a body? I was shot. You were shot. Where were you shot? The hip. Mm hmm. What was the reason why you were shot? What was happening? What were the circumstances? Cheated on my neighbor. Mm. His wife. So he shot you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this neighbor that shot you, does he have anything to do with Megan in this lifetime? No. No. So you picked Megan at random? It wasn't anybody that you've known before? Yes. Okay. So, Howard, why is it that you didn't go back to Source when you were shot? Why did you hang around here? Felt better. It felt better? Well, Howard, you have no idea what Source feels like. Do you think that it would be better to stick around in a woman's body than to go back to something that is all love? How do I know? Mm. Well, let's find out. Would you like to work with me so you can feel it? Yeah. All right. Howard, inside of you, there's a little spark of light. This is the light that created you. This is the light from Source. Tell me when you find that light. All right, now I'd like for you to make that light as big as you are. Make it huge. And tell me what that light feels like as you expand it. Peace. Mm -hmm. So now, Howard, I want you to make it even bigger. Make that light as big as a star. Make it so bright that someone would have to wear sunglasses around you. How does it feel to be so bright? Amazing. Mm -hmm. So this is what Source feels like. This is the light of Source. Do you think it's better to be with Source or with Megan? Source. Mm -hmm. So Howard, I'd like for you to tell Megan how you feel about what you've done to her all this time. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Megan, what would you like to tell Howard? Do you forgive him for what he's done? I forgive you. Mm -hmm. 
So Howard, I'd like for you to begin removing all of that energy from her shoulder, from her back. And I'd like for you to use that light to go ahead and begin projecting into her back now and begin to heal that space where you've been residing all this time. Send that white light into it so she can feel the healing, feel the peace in her back. And tell me when you're done, Howard. So, Howard, I'd like for you now to retrieve all of the energy that you had in there. And I'd like for you to go through the top of her head right here. And Archangel Michael is right there waiting for you. Take his hand and he's going to take you directly to source. Right back to the light of the Creator. And tell me, Howard, when you get there. Here. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody there to greet you, Howard? My wife. Mm, how does it feel to be back together? Amazing. Mm, very good. Howard, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. And now let me speak with the higher self. And let me know how her back looks now. Very good. So I'd like for you to fill it with white light from, from the divine. And I'd like Archangel Raphael, the healer, to shoot in his green light for healing into that space too. Does she have any other areas in her body that we need to tend to today? Any other areas? No. No, very good. What about her chakra system? Would you take a look at her chakras and see how they're working? The root chakra is slower. Mm -hmm. So can you begin calibrating those chakras and let's upgrade them while you're at it? Okay. Very good. What about her aura? How is her aura looking? Great. Okay, very good. Now, she asked about her student loans. She wants to know if she needs to pay them. What would you like to say to her about that? Yes, she needs to pay them. Mm -hmm. Very good. Would you assist her so that it's effortless for her to pay off those loans? Yes. Okay, very good. Is there anything else that you would like to t tell Megan today? Anything she needs to know? Right. Be brave. Mm -hmm. Now, I asked you before why you brought her down here today, and it was a fluke that she was able to make it, wasn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what was the importance of it? What is so important about Megan that you need to get her on the right path? Tell her how she's important. She's light. Mm -hmm. She changes people just by being near them. Mm -hmm. But she's too hard on herself. Mm -hmm. So what does she need to do to understand this so that she can help other people? She needs to be more forgiving of herself. Mm -hmm. Take the pressure away. Live in joy. She's 
meant for more. Very good. Anything else? It's going to be a matriarch. Mm -hmm. And being a matriarch is very powerful in a family, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what are her best attributes that will make her a good matriarch? Just caring. Wise. She's, she guides other people. Mm -hmm. People look to her. Mm-hmm. Is she channeling you, her higher self, when yes. she guides? Yes, mm -hmm. all the time. All the time. So she's already been channeling you for a while. She knows. Mm -hmm. Very good. How can she connect with you even easier? Be present. Be present in the moment. Very it's the hardest good. thing for her to do. Mm -hmm. And by meditating, she'll be able to train her mind to be more present? Yes. Very good. Anything else you'd like to tell Megan today? Or are we complete? We're complete. Very good. Thank you very much. Welcome back. How do you feel? I feel like I wasn't connecting enough. Oh, you were very connected. You were like, fine. I, I just wasn't supposed to know much. No, you weren't. Remember, you're very young still. I know, I'm stubborn. Yes, you're very young and they have to guide you in a certain way that, uh, you know, it's like, no, you're not supposed to know that yet. But you're manifesting. You're already doing really well but you don't know it it's like it's like you're doing stuff but you don't realize how much you're doing yeah you know because I just felt like I was trying so hard to allow mm -hmm. but like my conscious mind just kept trying to get in there and I was just you did great I could like feel that tension you but, know but, and I was like but the you whole, did good but the whole time I just felt like is this even am I just making this up yeah but you always will feel that way really yeah that's how it feels but you're you're you did really 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 well, really well. Thank you. I mean, your your past life was brilliant. It was beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful past life. Not as many details as I was hoping That's for. That's okay. You just have to know things. Things just pop in, and you just know it. You had a lot more details than you think. And um, what's really interesting is, um, well, your your grandfather came in, so you felt I felt so. really like. Like, I, that was, like, the most emotional part of it. Yeah. Like, I just felt like a wave of, like... Because mm -hmm. I never got to, like, see him. I didn't see him before he passed, you know? Mm -hmm. I, was, I was here. Yeah. But it's just, like, he had the same demeanor. Mm -hmm. He always will, of and course. He just... It's like he's, like, relying on me. You know, mm -hmm. like you are the glue. Yep. You're going to be the one that holds everything together. But uh, you did have an entity there that was messing with you. And it's like I always, like, it's funny because I have always had that spot bother me mm -hmm. for, like, it's, I've noticed it for a while. Yeah. And it'll come and go. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I'm like, I think I had that thought, like, oh, what if it is something, you know? Mm -hmm. But Howard. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it came up, and I was just like, how does that, like, did I make that up? <laughs> what the heck? Well, that's how it works. Uh, that's how it works. You don't question it because the conscious mind is the one that's questioning it. Yeah. And your higher self just knows. Yeah. You know, that's the conflict. The more you listen to this recording, the more you'll understand that, that you did really well. How long do you feel you were on this journey? Like 15 minutes. Hmm, yeah, an hour and 24 minutes. No. Mm -hmm. 
Alba. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> I literally felt like she's she's stopping it because I'm not connecting. Mm-hmm. Like she can tell that I'm not connecting mm-hmm. and that I can't get into hypnosis. So she's, you're kidding me. An hour and 24 minutes. An hour and 24 mm-hmm. minutes. That's Once crazy. you listen to it, you'll understand that you were hypnotized and you, really? you did really well. It was so hard for me to like see. Like it was so hard for me to like, I was trying so hard. I'm like, I just like, come on, come on. You know, and I just remember. And every time you go in and out of hypnosis, it's going to be easier. You know, this Mm -hmm. time it was kind of like you had your training wheels on. And we kind of took the training wheels off as you went off. Yeah. And anytime you get hypnotized in the future, it'll be much, much easier. Who knows what's going to happen. Yeah. But this was, you you got all of your answers that you needed. The right. only one they didn't want to tell you about was the shift, and they don't tell anybody about the shift. Yeah. That's just a, that's just the spiritual secret. Right. They don't tell anybody. It's like you're going to have an experience, but you're just going to have an experience. Yeah. Everybody's been told the same thing. Right. Because I'm just like, I want to know when. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but you're not supposed to. All right. Oh, it's just so. You did really well. An hour. Mm-hmm. I'm interested to see the rest of it because time pe- is very distorted as when you when you're in the state. Yeah, but all your questions were answered. You did great. Thank you so much. You did fantastic. <laughs> so you want to keep this personal? Um, no, I can. I don't think anything was. There was nothing that was like. I don't know if it'll help people, but I can definitely share it. I'd love to share it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we here we are. We're in Miami, Florida. And Megan, where are you from? I'm from, I live in North Carolina. So uh, you came down here for what purpose? Tell everybody why you came. Uh, I came because when I first saw your videos, mm-hmm. it was, I just felt like, oh my gosh, I need to do this. I need to meet <laughs> her and I need to do this. And I don't know what's going to come of it, but... I need to do it. Mm -hmm. So Um, now that you've done it, how do you feel? I feel really good. And um, I think it was definitely, I I had to manage my expectations because (laughs) I, you know, I had, I had booked it like five, six months ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was watching all your videos and binge watching, binge watching and getting so excited. Another one. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Another one. Um, So I think I was like, oh, what if I'm channeling all these crazy things and <laughs> but no it's it's like such a personal journey and I mm-hmm. think I knew more than I thought I knew mm-hmm. coming into it yeah, yeah like it was questions that I probably knew the answer but this was still helpful and, and you have to remember your higher self is you right so the the answers are within mm-hmm. I okay. think I'm more connected than I thought I was. Exactly. Exactly. So I think that that may be the most important thing that you get out of this yeah. is at the end, basically saying you've been doing this, you you've know. been connected. You already know. You already know this. Yeah. Okay. So you have to like calm down and understand mm-hmm. this is your path. Right. You know, what about your, your, your uh, past life? That was kind of interesting. I, it was very simple past life. You just, you, you were know, kind of like just, the matriarch there. Right, right, right. I was just the grandma, you mm-hmm. know, I was, mm-hmm. I was like, there. I was just living the village life yeah. and and kind of just with the flow. I mm-hmm. was with the flow of that, that time. And what, what really put the glue together for me at the end was when your higher self says, you're going to be the matriarch mm-hmm. of the family. And it's almost like you were being shown a life already where you were the matriarch and it was very comfortable. And it's funny because I've been told that before and that's mm-hmm. why I kind of had that I had a conscious thought when mm-hmm. I when that came out. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, am I making this up because mm-hmm. I had spoken to an astrologer mm-hmm. and he said that he mentioned that like, mm-hmm. "Oh, you you he read my chart and mm-hmm. you'll be a matriarch." Mm-hmm. And um yeah, and I and I when I said it, I was like, "Is that just me like Going off of what he told me. What do you think? How does it feel here? Feels right. I mean, Mm -hmm. it feels, Mm -hmm. I feel like I've always had those, those like, you're already, you're already the glue of the family. Yeah. Right. Right. So you're already doing it, but you're younger. Right. Exactly. So you're kind of growing (laughs) into it. Yeah. Good. So how did it feel to be hypnotized? You said it was only, you said it was only 15 minutes. Yeah. (laughs) 
I think because the whole time I felt like I'm not doing this right. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm not connecting. Like, I'm just making it up. Yes. I was like, I'm just making it up. But then I would try, no, just allow. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And then, you know, this is the first thing that popped into my head. And I was like, what the hell? Exactly. Like, and I still don't know about the dragon. I'm like, what? I don't know what. It, there was something. But well, this was it. in the 1300s. Yeah. 1398. Like, what? Mm-hmm. It's like this stuff. I'm just like, did I make that up? <laughs> and, and you have to understand that. I go over this before we start, that it's going to feel like you're making it up. Yes. Okay? It really does feel like it. Right, because it's coming from you. So you're always thinking, oh, I'm making it up. But this is coming from your higher self. Mm -hmm. So these are are memories that you're accessing. And of Mm -hmm. course it feels like it's coming from you because it is you. Yeah. Okay? But the more you listen to this recording, the more you'll understand. You were saying things that were really really important to you mm-hmm. really important and you got to be with your grandfather yeah that was really cool i think my family will be excited to hear that yeah that's good so would you recommend this to other people of course definitely um if anything just to show just to give that gift to yourself Mm-hmm. and how would you prepare for this I wish I had meditated more (laughs) and I think one of the things I think I almost think it was a test because Mm. I was I right four weeks before I came when the hurricanes were coming in so my session was actually canceled with Alba about four three weeks ago three Mm -hmm. and a half weeks ago and I was so bummed and I was like well you know what it's for a reason whatever (laughs) happens happens but I stopped doing my preparation activities Mm -hmm. kind of I I stopped meditating as much and I I like originally I had intended to listen to your visualization Mm -hmm. exercise and do it every day (laughs) and I was like you know what my higher self is just saying I need more time it's not my time to do it yet so I kind of put it on hold and then I get an email four days before I came here that oh no we can reschedule same day and time (laughs) so um I was like well crap (laughs) better get out of my funk and you know and um so I did I I like tried to meditate and do some relaxation Mm -hmm. stuff before I came but I definitely recommend you know like Mm -hmm. keeping a clean diet meditating just trying to like get to that place within yourself because if you're like me and your mind is constantly so hard and it takes a long time to cultivate the, yeah. the relaxation. You understand meditating is not like cramming for a test. <laughs> right. But that's why it's so hard. Like for me, it's so hard to meditate. I, I really struggle Because you it. have to be in the moment of now. Exactly. Okay. And so that's, that's the, the whole thing. thing. <laughs> that's the whole thing. So if you would like a session with me, all you have to do is go to my website, albaweinman.com. I am booked way out, but I do travel all around the world. So if you would like to get my mailing list, um, get on my mailing list to get the newsletter to tell you where I'm going to next, Go to the out of town page. It's on the bottom of the page. Sign up and you will get that newsletter saying if I'm going to a city near you. And if you do get that newsletter and I'm going to a city near you, book it immediately because it gets booked up within like 15 minutes. So (laughs) do it fast. So thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you very much for watching. Amazing. Bye. (laughs) Give me that hug.